Hello and welcome to Defunct NHL Teams Episode 4. There have been many short-lived teams and franchises in the history of the American Hockey League. The Moncton Alpines fit into that such category. In 1982, Edmonton Oilers owner Peter Pocklington purchased an American Hockey League team to play at the Moncton Coliseum in New Brunswick to serve as the Oilers affiliate team. In the 1980s, it was commonplace for AHL teams to adopt the brand identity of the NHL affiliate in name, colours or both. Edmonton showed some creativity and an eye for making a quick buck by agreeing a $125,000 naming rights deal with Moosehead Breweries to name the club after Moosehead's Alpine Lager beer brand. Thus, the Moncton Alpines were born. At the time, the Edmonton Oilers were almost untouchable at the NHL level. The same could not be said of their newest farm team. Even with Marc Messier's dad, Doug Messier, serving as Moncton's head coach and general manager, the team would record losing records in both seasons of their existence. In their inaugural campaign of 1982-83, Moncton posted a record of 34-39-7, despite Hockey Hall of Fame goaltender Grant Fuhrer between the pipes for 10 games. The following season was no better, and in fact worse, as the Alpines lost 40 games en route to missing out on the playoffs for a second straight season. One item of note from the second and final campaign was a player who featured in just a solitary game. Bill Goldie Goldthorpe, the infamous goon of the 1970s and the inspiration for the Ogie Oglethorpe character in the classic 1977 hockey movie Slapshot. Goldthorpe, it was thought, had retired but he hadn't played for three seasons having been shot by a drug dealer while trying to intervene on behalf of an ex-girlfriend. His kidney and urinary tract were damaged, derailing his career up until that point. According to Hockey DB, he was responsible for a single minor penalty in his solitary game for Moncton, with no points or even a fight to go along with it. The Alpines didn't exactly draw in the crowds, posting average attendances of 3,447 in 82-83 and 3,117 in 83-84, proving that non-winning hockey clubs have always proved a hard draw. In the spring of 1984, the Edmonton Oilers pulled the AHO affiliate out of Moncton and relocated to the Halifax Metro Centre in Nova Scotia. They were replaced in Moncton by the Golden Flames, a new franchise purchased by a group of local businessmen. They would be the affiliate, initially for Calgary, and then Boston. The Moncton Alpine's first game was October the 7th, 1982, versus Fredericton Express, and their final game was April 1st, 1984, against Nova Scotia Voyageurs. And that's not an April Fool's joke. The Alpines finished with an overall record of 66, 79, and 15. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and if you'd like more content relating to the AHL, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.